Okay, this is the audio interface that I'm using. It's a USB 2.0 based audio interface, so it's easily connected into my laptop via its many USB ports. Uh, this is a Focusrite Scarlett 2i4. I uh, purchased this for uh, about $190. Um, it's pretty brand new on the market. It's been released last year, um, so I can't really give you an accurate assessment as compared to the other ones on the market. But one thing to make sure is that they have MIDI ports. So, uh, as I'm showing you right here, those are the MIDI ports and those are the MIDI cables connected into my MPC 1000. So if you're looking to purchase an audio interface, make sure they have MIDI ports. And these are the cables that are leading into my audio output of my MPC-1000. Along with the uh, audio interface, you would also need MIDI cables. Uh, these right here, I purchased them off of eBay for about $5 a cable, so they're pretty affordable. Uh, when you install these, make sure they're in the correct ports, the uh, MIDI import of the MPC-1000, that cable should lead directly into the MIDI out of the audio interface and the MIDI out cable, that should lead into the MIDI in of the audio interface and what I have right here is a quarter inch TRS XLR cables those are for the audio outputs. Okay so now we need to get into the MIDI settings so in order to get to that screen uh, we would press mode button. After pressing the mode button, we would press pad 9. Pad 9 would lead you directly into the MIDI setting screen. So um, all the settings that you see here on the screen, you can leave it as is. So um, you can keep it at the, the default settings. So what we need to pay attention to is the sync settings. So we press F2 for the sync settings. That'll leave you this right here. Um, the settings that you see here on my screen, you should... Uh, set yours directly or, or exactly as I have it on the screen right now um, sync in should be off sync out should be placed on where the NPC is the master and Ableton is the slave out A should be placed to time code or depending what port your MIDI cable is hooked up to um, it could be hooked up to B so on B you would switch it to time code um, frame rate should be kept as is 30 uh, send MMC again depending on where your cable is hooked up to, which port is connected to. You would set it up to that port, so I have it on A, and there you have your settings. Before we start, I suggest uh, what you should do is uh, add and insert two empty bars in front of every track, only because with the MTC, it's, uh, it's time-based, so uh, it'll take maybe a fraction of a second for the Ableton and MPC to sync up correctly. Uh, it's it's a much more modern and current protocol, unlike the MIDI clock, which is, I think, in my opinion, more outdated and antiquated. So uh, let's do that. Press mode, and then you press pad 13. That will bring you up to the sequence edit screen. So uh, press on the bar tab, and you move up. Make sure it says insert. You want to insert empty bars. Whatever sequence you want to track out after empty bars, Put zero after bar, which would be the first bar. Number of bars, that would be two empty bars. Then you press do it. And now you see we have two extra bars. Now let's move down to the MIDI option. And whatever uh, ports you have your MIDI cables up, uh, hooked up to, um, that's the port that you should uh, put the setting at. So I have it at 1A with the output and input. So I want to set up all my tracks to 1A. Okay. And that will be it. In order to track out the individual tracks, you must solo it. That way, only that individual track will play and record. And make sure the loop is off as well. Okay, now we are going into Ableton and we're going to adjust our settings here. You need to scroll down where you get to preferences, click on that, go to your audio tab, and the driver type I suggest you download ASIO as it's the uh, driver to use with all DAWs. It's really uh, good and it performs really well. Okay, go to ASIO. Uh, auto device, you will look for your driver for your specific audio interface. So I have Focusrite and I'll click on that. 
input configuration uh you can leave everything as a default output leave as a default hardware setup you can also leave that as a default you don't need to adjust anything there and everything is basically as uh, as you see on the screen right here you just keep it as is nothing to really adjust here Okay, now that is done, uh, we're going to click on the MIDI sync tab. Now for the input, uh, what you do is you look for the specific driver according to whatever audio interface you're using. So I have a Scarlett, I'll click on that, as well as the output. Look for the driver to your specific audio interface. So I have a Scarlett, I'll click on that. Now for the input, the track should be on, sync should be on, remote should be off. Everything you leave as is, the only thing you need to really change here if it's not set up correctly is the MIDI time code obviously should be the sync type MCC frame rate should be set at 30 frames per second everything else you can leave as is now you go down to the output according to whatever audio interface you're using now for the output any track should be on sync should be off remote should be off and everything should be kept as is and that will be it Okay, now we're going to insert separate individual audio tracks. So depending on how many tracks you have in your sequence, that's how many audio tracks that you need to conjure up. So in order to do that, you go to create and insert audio track. So since I have six, I would need six individual audio tracks. I would suggest using the arrangement view since it's much easier to work that way. So we go to view, click on arrangement, and we're going to work in the arrangement view, which is much easier to work with. You can actually view your music and your tracks much more easier. Okay, before you start recording, I suggest that you configure which channel your audio is coming in from. Um, in order to do that, you would have to go over here where the view tab is, scroll down, check in and out, and this will come up, okay, and from there, since all of my audio is coming in from my, from the uh, 1 and 2 stereo channel, I will configure all these channels to 1 and 2 on all the audio tracks, okay. buttons right here they represent the monitor I just leave it on auto MIDI I left off so then you would go to the individual track that's recording you would arm that specific track by pressing on this button and before you do that press on the external sync where the MCC will sync along with the Ableton there you go. Press this record button and then play. And assuming you have all the tracks soloed on the MPC, you simply press play start on the MPC and just let Ableton do the rest. And this is the first track that I'm going to record right here. Simple guitar. listen to the playback you click off the external sync and you simply press the play button there you have it you have one track recording now on to the second track um, for the second track you just simply repeat the steps but uh, what I failed to mention before is that 
in Ableton, you should also solo the track because you do not want the tracks to bleed over each other. So um, let's solo the track. You can do that by pressing the S button right here. And get your kick set. Okay, this is the drum track I'll be recording. And for each upcoming track, you just simply repeat the steps. the tracks are recorded so uh, what I'm going to do is play the entire song with all the tracks playing because I want to get a uh, preview of what it will sound like so um, try that. make sure it's in sync okay so far it's sounding really good everything's in sync like I hope it to be Now for all the tracks, you need to subtract those two empty bars that we added at the beginning of each track. You just click on here. Make sure you get all of the tracks. Scroll down. That will be all the tracks. Click on edit. You would click on delete time. That will shorten the tracks, deleting those two bars at the beginning of every track. Let's see how it sounds. Sounds pretty good. Now you can manipulate each track, add in echoes, reverbs, uh, various VSTs, and uh, there we have it. Have fun.